There is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. You got to get tired of losing. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal when you don't have any money and runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? Poverty sucks. Make no mistake about it. And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. No, there's got to be more for me. And let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. There's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different can happen. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. I want to see how far I can go. I want to see what I can accomplish. I want to see what I can do, what I can be, what I can have. I want to see. I don't want to see what I think I can do. I don't want to see what I think is possible. I want to see what my life would look like if I didn't count the cost. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit, you might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it because they don't think you can do nothing they can't do. Nobody knows but you. Nobody knows what you are. Even sometimes you don't really even know what you are. You got to take your shot. Have opinions and feelings about yourself independent of the feedback. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Process. Trust the process. You got to be fearless. You got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. At the core of a creative person is they believe there is always an answer. If you don't think there's an answer, how creative are you going to be? How long are you going to hang with that idea? How long are you going to try to work it and percolate it and create it and make it something bigger? And you've got to be so relentless, regardless of what comes down the pike, that you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way that you can break through, always looking for a way, that you can win, always looking for a way, that you can strike a telling blow. But you got to understand, you can always get a little bit better. You can always excel a little bit more. You can always push it a little further. You can always climb a little bit higher. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice. You'll get better and better. And when you know what you want, you will do anything it takes to get it. You're going to do whatever it takes to you hear me? You're going to go your own way. You're going to do what they won't do. You're going to be smart and you are going to win.